All right, let's do this. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the official This Is My Bourbon Podcast YouTube page. I am the host of This Is My Bourbon Podcast, Perry. Don't normally do YouTube videos, but because I am fortunate enough to be a part of this really awesome project known as Beagle Rare Kentucky Howl, I figured that I would kind of follow suit with everybody else. And uh, in this case, you're getting a video on, on the YouTubes. So, uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different from how everybody else has been doing it. Not to say that everybody else has done it wrong, necessarily, because, you know, everybody has done it exactly how they've wanted to. In this case, I wanted to kind of shape the whiskey a, a little bit more. So what I'm doing is I, I'm taking the Beagle Rare bottle as it exists right now, and scientifically, scientifically in air quotes, I guess, uh, kind of going through and figuring out what it is that I want to do to make this version of Beagle Rare my own. So here's how it's gonna go. Step one, take an ounce from the bottle into each of these Glencairns. Step two, we'll be taking two to three drops of each of these three whiskeys and adding them to that ounce. Now in this case, I chose these for very specific reasons. Right now, this bottle is really hot. And it's not necessarily alcohol hot, it's just kind of spicy. And I wanted to find something that might curb that a little bit. So, I chose three different whiskeys, and I figured, you know, maybe this is gonna help me out, or maybe, you know, something's gonna come out of left field, and it's gonna prove to be the best that it could be for this blend. So first off is a Weller Full Proof pick. So it's 114 proof, weeded, non-chill filtered bourbon. So I figured that with this addition, the wheat would actually kind of curb some of that heat and make it, you know, a little bit more pleasing to the palate. This is in a Booker's bottle, but it is not, in fact, Booker's. This is actually from a 1972 Ezra Brooks decanter that is 12 years old and 90 proof that the founder of Beagle Rare, Matt Porter himself, ADHD Fishing, actually gifted to me when he was over recording at my house the other night talking about Beagle Rare. And you can actually find the link to that, uh, uh, that podcast episode down in the description below. So go and check that out uh, once you're done watching this video, of course. Or pause the video now, go watch or listen to the podcast, and then uh, come back and check this out. Uh, and then last but not least, I figured that I would throw something into the mix that might not work, but I thought that, you know, it would be worth a shot at the very least. So this is the brand new, new Riff Balboa Rye Bottled and Bond Whiskey. So, let's get cracking on this. Uh, one thing that I wanted to say as I'm pouring these uh, as well is that as you can tell, I am in basically a special location. Uh, I am on the set at it's bourbon night, so thank you Chad and Sarah for allowing me to come and kind of use your space for a little bit uh, while I'm doing this. Yeah, it was just kind of nice to have this, so thank you guys. Okay, so I have now poured one ounce uh, from the Beagle Rare bottle into each of these three Glen Cairns. Uh, now I'm gonna take the time to uh, pour a couple of drops of each of these whiskeys uh, into these Glen Cairns as well and allow them a little bit of time to mingle and see how they turn out uh, with, this, uh, with this little addition. So that's a few drops from the Full Proof. And that's a few drops from the Ezra Brooks. And that was a few drops from the Balboa Rye. And that's all three whiskeys added into the Beagle Rare. So now I figure out that we're gonna start out with the Beagle Rare and the Weller Full Proof. So let's check this out. So it's definitely cooled that nose down quite a bit. But man, it still is maintaining a lot of those, uh, 
those nice bold oaky flavors that were present uh, in the last batch. That was, uh, this bottle actually came to me right after the guys from the podcast, Bull in the Grease. So thank you guys. I really am hoping I'm not gonna mess this up. Yeah, it's kind of added a sweetness to the nose, which is really nice. All right, let's check it out. Mm. Well, I will say it definitely got rid of some of that heat, but I don't know if it did what I wanted it to, uh, to the palate, where it still is maintaining some of that alcohol bite. Um, it, it has kind of quelled some of the flavors, so maybe this wasn't the, the right one, but I'm gonna try another sip before I move on to the next bourbon. Okay, second sip was better. Still not quite what I'm looking for, but I think that that might have a little bit of potential to it. So, I'm take a little sip of water. By the way, if you would like to find uh, all kinds of merchandise similar to this Drink More Bourbon water glass, uh, you can head to whiskeyambitions.com, uh, which is where you can find all of Chad and Sarah's or it's Bourbon Nights uh, merch and apparel. So, check that out. All right, let's move on to the second blend. Now, just as a reminder, this is the 12-year-old 90-proof Ezra Brooks decanter from 1972. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice on the nose. It's definitely introduced some of those uh, older, dustier qualities to it, and it's still really allowed the whiskey itself to kind of expand uh, and find new flavors, and that heat has definitely been brought down but it does still maintain, of course, uh, what, what this has really kind of gone through in terms of its paces uh, since it started out with ADHD fishing. So, palate. Oh man. Oh. That is delicious. It's taken definitely all of that heat away, well, not all the heat away, but it's really curbed it and given it this really silky mouthfeel, which still, you know, allows for the flavors to kind of coat the tongue and, and just, it, I'm, I'm running out of, of ways to talk about this. All right, let's try sip two. If this doesn't become the one that I put into the Beagle Rare bottle, I will be very surprised, just being honest with you. This is delicious. It is almost like taking the best of the, the world of vintage whiskeys and blending it with these new age whiskeys. And it's, it's, it's very good, but I don't want to, uh, I don't, I don't want to get ahead of it too, too quickly. So let's move on to, uh, the new riff Balboa ride. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be tough. Cause that nose is really interesting too. And if I kind of side by side it with the uh, with the Ezra Brooks nose, it's got a little bit more of a punch to it, I would say, and a little bit more flavor to it as well. Um, but I, I think that the, you know I'm really gonna know once I actually get to taste it. So I may as well go in and taste it. Okay, okay. I think in this case, it might have made it a little bit too rye heavy. Um, I think that it didn't curb the, that, that heat in the way that I wanted it to, uh, but it does still kind of maintain a little bit of the spice. Uh, but it has kind of introduced a weird, almost metallic flavor to it, which I am not sure is right for this. So one more time, see how this is. Okay, second sip, really not bad. Really not bad, um, but I just, th this is not quite what I was hoping for, I don't think. Um, so, I'm kind of thinking about something based on how much I have left. Um, let's, let's try a little bit of an experiment. Not that this whole thing hasn't been an experiment, but I'm gonna reset my palate I'm going to blend the first two together, and if it is what I was looking for, great. If not, uh, my answer is probably going to be this Ezra Brooks decanter. So, 
We'll just kind of have to see here in a second. So blend. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna reset my palette and we'll kind of come right back. All right, let the blend sit for a little bit. Now we're gonna see what it's like when I do equal parts with Beagle Rare uh, and these little bits of the Weller Foolproof in this 1972 Ezra Brooks decanter. So let's check it out. It's gotten really fruity on the nose. A lot more caramel than there's been in a while. Kind of more standard bourbon notes, I would say, on the nose, but um, nothing like, nothing like over the top, I would say. I'm, I'm curious what it's done to the palate, though. Hmm. I am, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> It's kind of made it a little too musty, interestingly enough. And uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that this is what I was hoping that the blend would be. It's definitely off from how much I liked uh, the dusty addition to it. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna try it one more time, maybe finish off the sample, or maybe give it a little bit more time to, to sit and kind of mingle. Uh, but second sip, let's see. Yeah, I think unfortunately it's gotten a little too bitter, a little too astringent. Uh, the finish is still kind of nice and long, but I don't think that it's really what I was hoping for in seeing, you know, just, and, and to be honest, I mean, this was just kind of me going, well, you know, I liked these two, I liked one better than the other, so maybe I could, you know, add some into, into it together and see what it, if it's going to actually come out okay. In this case, it just didn't. So, I think my answer, uh, in terms of trying to curb the heat on this, while still introducing really nice flavors uh, and, and really kind of maintaining the overall quality of this bottle is going to be by adding, I'm really excited that this is the one that, that won, uh, by adding this 1972 Ezra Books 12 year old 90 proof decanter bourbon. So there's your winner. The, this is exciting. I, I was happy to you know do something a little bit different and uh, in this case, it was very different. So let's get blended. So the idea behind uh, you know, adding something else to this is that you have to add in as much as you took out. And I think I took out probably about three to four ounces. Uh, when I got the bottle from, from the podcast, it was about up to here. So basically what I'm gonna do is just add as much to this bottle as it takes uh, to get back up to that amount. So America. That one's for you, Matt Porter. <laughs> and I am just now realizing that I could use a funnel, so be right back. Okay, funnel has been acquired, thanks to Chad. So, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna pour it back up to the level at which I got it. All right, so I went a little bit more on here, just so I could uh, kind of do, do a little taste test and everything, but that has been uh, my addition to the Beagle Rare Infinity Chain bottle. And uh, I'll tell you guys, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I want to say thank you first and foremost to Matt Porter or ADHD Fishing for it being interested in having me uh, be a part of this project. Huge thank you to Dixon Deadman who at the, at the very beginning of this said he was in and you know, without him, none of this would have existed. So. Well, that's not entirely true. Matt was really the one who got this all together and, you know, made this work. So, I am so happy with how this has turned out. If you want to hear my conversation with Matt about this bottle, you want to hear about the inspiration that went into it and some other really, really cool things, again, the, the, uh, the link for that is in the description below, so go and check that out. I think that about does it for me. If you want to follow the show on social media, it is at my bourbon pod. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can give us a five-star rate and review on the old iTunes. If you are not yet a part of our Facebook group, you can head to facebook.com and search for This Is My Bourbon Group. You can become a part of a really fun community where we talk about the show, we talk about everything that's going on in the bourbon world, and it's just a really good time hanging out and all that. And then last but not least, patreon.com slash mybourbonpodcast is where you can become a patron of the show for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, you get to do things like watch me record uh, this Beagle Rare blending episode uh, on Patreon. So thanks guys for watching that over there on YouTube and Patreon. Appreciate that. Uh, but you also get bonus episodes. Uh, you get the opportunity 
to get uh, advanced notifications when we do things like live shows, uh, which our, our next live show is going to be coming up this coming year. And so for more information on that, you can head to patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. So please, please go and check that out if that does interest you. Thank you all so much for watching this video. This has been really cool. Also, thank you to Chad and Sarah, I forgot to say that, for allowing me to come in and take over one of their sets for a little bit so I could record something really cool and be a part of something really cool. That does it for me. I'll see you next time. But until then, I'm Perry, and this is my bourbon podcast YouTube channel.